Some lobsters are born with mutations that can change their body color in strange ways. It's pretty interesting to see. And so today, let's take a look at the top 15 most rare lobsters. Number 15, blue. You may think you know what color a lobster is in the wild, but just like any other species, they can be a wide range of different hues, sometimes as a result of genetic variation, and sometimes because of the different environments they live in. Usually, they're a dark, muddy color to help blend in with their surroundings, but on rare occasions, they can develop to be very different indeed. Possibly the most visually striking are blue lobsters, which can sometimes be very brightly colored. Most lobsters actually have a slight blue coloration, but in some cases there's a genetic fault that causes an overproduction of a particular protein, which means the blue pigment is present in such large quantities that there's no other hues visible. Due to their inability to hide from predators, it's extremely rare for blue lobsters to reach adulthood, and even rarer for fishermen to catch one, with some estimates suggesting that they're only likely to see one for every one or two million that are caught. Number 14. Yeti Lobster The oceans are so vast and difficult to explore that there are still large regions that we still know virtually nothing about, including the wealth of life that lives there. It seems that every deep-sea exploration returns with news of the discovery of a new species, and in 2005, a research trip to the Pacific Antarctic Ridge made a surprising find, something that has become known as the Yeti Lobster. At around 6 inches long, these strange crustaceans have evolved to survive in the harsh conditions at depths of up to 7,200 feet, where the only source of nutrition is emitted from hydrothermal vents. These geological features pose their own threats, though, so the Yeti lobster has developed hairs along its pincers that are believed to be home to a specific type of bacteria that detoxifies the water so the lobster can survive. This region is the only place where lobsters like these have ever been found, and while it's likely similar species exist in similar environments elsewhere on Earth, the fact that it was only in the past 15 years that they were discovered shows just how rare they are. Number 13. Two-toned While most lobsters you'll see will be one main color, occasionally something far more unusual will be found. So-called two-toned lobsters, or split-colored lobsters, have an abnormality that means they are split down the middle, and the shell on either side is a distinctively different tone. They can be solid colors or even a checkerboard pattern, and can be virtually any of the other colors that lobsters can develop. Two-tone varieties are extremely rare, and account for approximately one of every 50 million that are caught, meaning that you'll hardly ever see them on a dinner plate. Instead, when one is found, it's often given to a local aquarium to be put on display, as their rarity means they are also much more valuable than a normal one. Furthermore, the two-tone lobsters are usually hermaphrodites, and have male sex organs on one side, along with female sex organs on the other. Number 12. Two Crushing Claws Genetic abnormalities can affect lobsters in ways other than the color of their shells, and in 2010 a fisherman working off the coast of Cornwall in the UK found something very unusual. Normally lobsters have two different types of claws, as a result of the way they hunt their prey or other crustaceans. They have one that's a cutter claw that's used to hold on to their target and another called a crusher claw that's used to break open the shell. On this occasion, however, the fisherman noticed that the lobster he had caught had two crushing claws. It's not exactly clear how it managed to survive in the wild, because this would have had severely impacted its ability to hunt. And it was so rare that instead of being sold to a restaurant, it was given to the local aquarium. Amazingly, this was the second mutant lobster like this that had been given to the facility in the space of two months as a few weeks earlier they had been given another individual that had two cutting claws. Eventually, they were both housed in the same tank, presumably so they could work together to catch and crack open their food. Number 11. Yellow It was only just recently discovered that lobsters could be yellow, which shows just how rare they are. Thought to only happen one in every 30 million individuals, chances of catching one are similar to winning the lottery. And if you do, while you won't be in line for millions of dollars, you'll still be in possession of something quite valuable. Like with other color varieties, the yellow ones occur as a result of a genetic abnormality that affects the way their shells develop pigment. Usually, thanks to their diet of mollusks and other shelled creatures, they absorb astaxanthin that binds with proteins in their shell and develops their color. When this process is inhibited, only certain proteins will bind, and sometimes this results in a purely yellow hue. Interestingly, however, if you were to cook a yellow lobster, the astaxanthin would react the same way as it does in normal colored lobsters, 
and will cause the flesh to turn pink. There's also no effect whatsoever on how they would taste, which means specimens like these are better off sent to an aquarium where visitors can see how diverse the species can be. Number 10. Canadian Giant Lobsters come in all shapes and sizes, but given the right conditions, they can grow to enormous sizes. Typically, you would expect ones that are served in restaurants to be several pounds in weight, but they can grow much larger than this. This is because lobsters can live for a surprisingly long time, with the oldest thought to have been alive for more than 100 years. The current record holder for size was caught in Nova Scotia, Canada in 1977, and weighed in at a whopping 44 pounds and 6 ounces. Only one image of the monster crustacean exists, and in it, you can see how it dwarfs the diver who found it. An animal like this would be far too big to cook or keep in a tank, and probably has been alive for far longer than any of us have been. So it's a common practice to release them back into the water and let them carry on with their lives, so they can hopefully breed and help maintain population numbers when so many of them are caught each year. Number 9. Cotton Candy so-called cotton candy lobsters are one of the rarest and beautifully colored varieties you might ever see. It's a unique coloration that's thought to occur in one out of every 100 million individuals, and only a few have ever been caught. Unlike with other color variations where genetic abnormalities cause proteins to bind differently in their shells, it's instead thought that the cotton candy variants occur because of a lack of pigment. Here, a variety of colors can be present, but none are strong enough to cover the entire body so instead you get this wonderful rainbow-like effect. Furthermore, the colors will change depending on how the lobster's body is positioned and can appear to ripple as its claws move. Surprisingly, most lobsters are actually made up of all these colors, but in such abundance that they combine together to give them the normal muddy brown appearance. They will, however, still turn pink when they are cooked because there's still a quantity of astaxanthin in their shell that causes this change when heated. And there's no effect on their flavor, so specimens like these are usually given to researchers for further study. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Calico In 2019, the owner of a fish market in Maryland was checking through the catch that had been delivered that morning noticed there was one lobster that didn't look anything like the others. It had a light orange coloration with black speckles over it, and he soon realized that he had found an extremely rare calico lobster. The odds of finding one of these is thought to be around 1 in 300 million, mainly because of their chances of surviving in the wild are significantly reduced because of their inability to blend in with their surroundings. On this occasion, the owner decided the creature was too special to sell to a restaurant, so he saved it found that it was a female and named her Eve. He then set her out to find a public aquarium to donate her to. And because she was so rare, he wasn't short of options of facilities that wanted to add the calico lobster to their exhibit. Number 7. Triple Pincers If you've ever seen a lobster in a tank or eaten one in a restaurant, you'll know that as well as being a certain color, you expect to see eight legs, front two of which have large claws on them. Occasionally, however, their development can be altered for a number of reasons, often due to genetic abnormalities or the presence of pollution in the area where they are born, and this can lead to strange mutations taking place. In 2010, one such anomaly was caught by a fisherman who didn't notice anything unusual at first, but upon closer inspection saw that there was something very strange about one of its claws. Instead of having two pincers like normal, this one had three the two that you'd expect, along with an extra one protruding from the side. The extra appendage didn't appear to be functional as it had no other pincer to clasp against, but it probably wouldn't have impeded the creature from hunting in the wild either. It's not known how often a mutation like this happens or whether it occurred as a result of human activity or not, but since there aren't many examples of triple pincered lobsters, it's safe to say that this is quite a rare thing. Number 6. Halloween Two-toned lobsters tend to be split down the middle and have a different color and often sex on each side, but despite only occurring in one of every 50 million individuals, there's a type that's far more common than any others, so much so that it has its own designation, the Halloween lobster. So named because one side is black and the other is orange, the chances of catching one are thought to be around 1 in 100 million, but when one is found, it causes quite a stir. The last known one to be caught was pulled up by a fisherman from Salem in 2012, 
and was named Pinchy after Homer Simpson's lobster in one of the episodes of the iconic cartoon. It had been caught in early October, just in time for Halloween that year, and the fisherman gave it to the New England Aquarium in Boston to be put on display. Unfortunately, due to strict quarantine rules, it wasn't cleared to be visible to the public in time that year. By the following year, after growing even larger and molting its shell, Pinchy was ready for display and was the central attraction for their Halloween festivities. Number 5. Red We often think of lobsters as being red or orange in color, but this isn't what they normally look like in the wild, and is a change that happens when they're being cooked. Sometimes, however, they do actually develop a red coloration in the wild, although it's incredibly rare to find one. They are so rare, in fact, that only 1 in 10 million are thought to be this way, and it's not entirely clear why it happens. What is known is that they turn red after cooking because of the increase of a chemical called astaxanthin, and it's possible that those that become red while they're still alive for some reason develop larger quantities of it naturally. There's also a theory that they may have grown up in warmer environments, such as around a geothermal vent, so in effect, partially cooked while they were in the wild, which caused the coloration to develop. Number 4. Dinocellus Asubelli Based on what's served in restaurants, it's easy to think that there are only one or two species of lobster, but in fact, there are many more. New types are constantly being found in the oceans, and in 2007, researchers discovered one of the rarest of all, called the Dinocellus Asubel. It was first spotted during a census of marine life that was being conducted in the waters around the Philippines at a depth of around 820 feet. They are very small, growing to only 1.2 inches long, and are mainly translucent with some slight reddish-pink coloration on certain parts of their shells. Like other species of lobsters, they have two claws that are designed for different purposes, but unusually, the Dinocellus asubel has one claw that's much larger than the other. They're both covered in rows of sharp teeth, and it's because of these that this species was given its name, which translates from Greek to mean terrible claw. No species like this one has ever been found anywhere else in the world, so it's thought to be completely unique to the region. As it was only first discovered so recently, it's believed to be quite rare, and researchers have even struggled to find any further specimens to study. Finds like these also make you wonder quite how many other types of lobsters there are in the world. And could it be possible that there are ones that are even more delicious than main lobsters that are so popular? Number 3. Orange when you serve lobster in a restaurant, you expect them to be reddish in color, but they only take on these hues during the cooking process, when the exposure to the heat causes the astaxanthin in their shells to turn red. In the wild, their shells actually contain a wide range of colors that combine to give them a muddy brown appearance and helps them to camouflage into the mud. But any interference with the development of pigments will result in the lobster looking very different. Occasionally, due to a genetic deformation, some of the red tones of the astaxanthin can become present while the lobster is still alive, and this can lead it to taking a bright orange coloration, which has been known to surprise fish market owners who think a pre-cooked crustacean has been delivered to them by mistake. As with other variations, orange lobsters are quite rare, with only 1 in 30 million thought to be this color, and the few times that the discovery of one have been made public, the specimen has been donated to an aquarium for further study. Number 2. Lola the Six-Clawed Lobster Fishermen know what to expect when they pull up their lobster cages out of the water, and apart from the chance of finding one that's an unusual color, there's not much else that can surprise them. In some incredibly rare circumstances, however, a true mutation can occur and create something almost unimaginable. That's what a fisherman was faced with in 2013 when working in waters off the coast of Massachusetts. He knew something was strange about the lobster he had just brought onto his boat. When he looked closer, he realized it had a deformed claw. But instead of two pincers, or even three, this one had five pincers on one claw, which made it look like a human hand. He had never seen anything like it before, and took it to a local research institute where researchers couldn't believe what they were looking at either. The lobster was named Lola and was seen as too special to eat, so she was put on display in an aquarium where her extra appendages didn't appear to be causing her any difficulties at all. Quite why this mutation happened or how common it is isn't clear, but there are no other examples of a 5 pincered lobster on record, so it's unlikely to be a frequent occurrence. Number 1. Albino The various different colors of lobster occur because of a genetic mutation in the way that the proteins bind in their shells. But there's one variety that doesn't occur this way, and is instead where creatures lack any type of pigment whatsoever. 
albinos. Albinism occurs in most animals, and lobsters are no different, but in their case, it's incredibly rare, thought to only happen in one out of every 100 million individuals. They appear translucent and are often called ghost lobsters, but it's far more than their color in the wild that makes them unique and sought after. Albino lobsters don't have any astaxanthin in their shells at all, which is the substance responsible for creating their color. This means that when they're cooked, they don't turn red like every other colored lobster, but instead remain transparent. This has an effect on the taste of them too, at least in theory, but it's so difficult to find one to be served on a plate that no one knows for certain quite how this changes the flavor. Still, they are so rare that it seems a shame to cook them, as they're a popular draw at aquariums where they are one of the hardest to come by exhibits of all. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.